Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Gino back here and today I'm gonna share with you guys the wettest jumper and dribble pull-up that I've found so far and the reason I'm doing this is because a lot of you guys have been asking me what's my jumper, what's my jumper? My jumper is still the same. It's still the same wet jumper that everyone's been asking for but what I've changed is the dribble pull-up and honestly guys, first of all, let me show you my stats. Like, I'm not like... I mean, my record's not like crazy, crazy like some YouTubers, but like, I mean, I've been playing a lot on the threes and there's a lot of lag outs in the first few days, but look, I got an 80% win rate, so you guys can trust me. I'm not like some random, like negative record or barely positive. Like I have an 80% win rate and I play only this character at the park. I'm on my shot maker right now. Primary shot creator, secondary playmaker. I'm gonna show you guys the wettest jumper ever. And also, I'm gonna show you guys that this is actually, I put my core on Hall of Fame. I used to test my jump shots out at online park, like settings, or on All-Star. But from now on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna test them out on Hall of Fame. So here's the jumper. I'm gonna show you guys actually the jump shot real quick. I'm gonna show you guys the jump shot real quick. This is what I use right here. And it's cash for me, man, it's cash. All right, guys, so here's the jumper. Sorry, I had to move my webcam, actually. I didn't realize it would be blocking it. Trey Burke is a jumper I've been using for the past, like, week and a half. And Trey Burke, I was actually using it with Athletic 12. And Athletic 12, I mean, it's good. Athletic 12 is good. Athletic 12 is good. But the only thing I changed was the dribble pull-up to Steph Curry. And it is so cash. I mean, you can see how smooth it is. Like, I was getting so many greens, but it's a little bit slow on Athletic 12. You can see that. Look. You can see that it's a little bit slow with Athletic 12. With Steph Curry, this shot is crazy. With Steph Curry, this look how smooth it is. Look how fast it is. It's a little bit fast, guys. So if you're not used to a fast jumper, I would practice it a lot. But this jumper, guys, is crazy. And also, if you guys want me to share my dribble moves, if you guys want me to share my dribble moves, let me know. And I'll, and I'll share these uh, dribble moves with you guys, too. But I'm just gonna keep them private for now, guys. I'm testing out more dribble moves. I'm gonna find the best ones. The ones I use are pretty good, but anyways, man, let's go into the court. I'm gonna show you guys it's on Hall of Fame. So not only not only will this jumper work better at the park because the park sliders aren't that hard, I'm testing it out at a harder difficulty. And I literally just found it like 10 minutes ago. I haven't even played any park yet with it. But as I said, guys, I'm not some random like bum off the streets. Like I have an 80% win rate, like almost 300 wins, 74 losses, which is not, I mean, it's not crazy good, but like you can trust me that I'm not like some random bum. Also, let me check the settings. Look, it's on Hall of Fame, guys. It's on Hall of Fame. I'm gonna prove to you guys that this jumper is wet as hell. Oh my God, it's a cut scene. It's a cut scene. All right, after this cut scene, I'm gonna show you guys that this is the wettest jumper Ever. It's so quick. It's so good. One thing I want to mention though Actually, one thing I want to mention is um, The leaning shots like the moving off the dribble shots are way better um, On this build or on this shot Than the stand shot, but you like the standing shot you can I'm still hitting greens on Hall of Fame But it's just not as good as the off the dribble shot. So if you're taking mostly off the dribble shots I really recommend this uh, combo but Anyways, let's get into this man. I'll show you this jumper Green. This is on Hall of Fame, guys. Look, and like, if it goes in on Hall of Fame, like, man, you guys know it's gonna go in at the park. You guys know it's gonna go in at the park, man. I mean, look at this. Look how wet it is off the dribble. Look at this. Look how wet that is. Look how wet that is, man. I haven't even mastered this release yet. That's the crazy part. It's so wet. I haven't even mastered the release 100%. And you could know it's so wet, man. Look at that. You know how, like, my other Athletic 12, when I go like this, it's so much slower? But Steph Curry, man, it's so smooth, man. It just feels... Cash, bro, you guys were you guys are gonna be cashing out with this jumper But as I said like the standing shots a little bit harder to green Well, not really harder to green But I found it that it was easier with athletic 12 with the standing shots slightly easier But like for me as a shot maker if you guys are gonna be taking off the dribble shots Like honestly all of you guys 
most archetypes that can shoot can shoot off the dribble this year i mean like even even uh sharpshooters well, that was a bad release but even sharpshooters can shoot off the dribble this year so i feel like steph curry with trey burke man it's just it's just fire man i tested out a lot of jumpers and this is the one that caught my attention i haven't even mastered the release yet that's because i was playing for a week and a half with uh athletic 12 and like i can already tell like look look how smooth it is bro like this is wet as hell like give me like a couple hours to practice this shot at the park and it's a gg man i don't even have my hot spots anymore because i started a new season but yeah as you guys will see man this is hall of fame bro like i'm not like editing anything bro like i'm not editing anything out this is hall of fame difficulty bro like there, no bullshit no bullshit you, like online park is so much easier than hall of fame and look at look bro it's cashing out on hall of fame it's cashing out on hall of fame one thing though is i feel like it's hard for me to shoot threes with this jumper though like standing but i'm, I'm gonna work on it i'm gonna get my release down also my three-point rating's not that good I noticed I gotta let it go a little bit later. I feel like with Athletic 12, like I was getting it better. But yeah, as I said, I practiced that jumper for a week and a half before it was like godlike. But this one, man, it already feels good. I'm gonna work on my threes, but if you're a sharpshooter, you'll be sinking those threes just because my rating on the three is not that good. But look at, look how fast that is. Can you imagine like coming off a screen? There's a screen, let's say right here. I come off the screen, come this way, bang. Like that's green light and you can zigzag. You can do the zigzag cheese. I'm gonna do a zigzag uh, cheese tutorial, but you can so easily come off screens, bro. This shit is wet as hell. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna do like a mixtape or some footage. I'm gonna use this jumper when I stream today. But yeah, man, if you guys like this video, make sure to drop a like. Let me know in the comments below if this jumper did work for you, man. And I'm out, man. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell for post notifications, guys. I love you so much. Peace.